hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new on here this is cuisine demand a channel where we excite your taste but today i'm going to give you a quick recipe on how i made this amazing and delicious tuna sandwich for a one-year-old birthday party kids and adults love sandwich so the birthday girl's mother who happens to be a very good friend of mine asked me to do this for her okay so let's get right into it so as you can see from behind i have already diced my vegetables and already boiled my eggs so what i am doing right here is i'm draining the water from the tuna as much as possible by putting pressure on the lid with my thumb to bring the water out of it okay and i have about 10 of these cans that i have to drain the water from so this is what i had after i'm going to cover it and keep it in the fridge and use as fish broth okay all right so now after that i'm going to get myself a very big bowl and then put in my tuna flakes After adding in all the tuna, I then spread it with my spatula before adding the rest of the ingredients. So the first thing I added was my vegetables. I had already diced them beautifully. I have my spring onions, my celery, and then my red pepper all beautifully diced okay then i added everything and then i gave it a very good stir but gentle okay i want everything to be well incorporated so i carefully took my time and then gave it a very good stir Next, I added my sweet relish and gave it a very good stir to make sure everything is well mixed, okay? It is advisable to add in your ingredients one after the other and also mix after adding in your ingredients to make sure everything is well mixed so you can get a very good taste of all the ingredients you have added. I decided to grate my eggs using the smaller part of this grater. If you prefer, you can cut, dice, chop, however you want it, okay? But I decided to dice them using the smaller part. And the reason being that tuna is the main protein for the day. So I, don't, I, I didn't want the eggs to overshadow the tuna. And also, I wanted it to be as presentable as possible okay since it's going out of the house it has to be presentable enough to our guests So this is the beautiful outcome that we had and I'm going to give it a very good stir. You know, it is stirring, 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 stirring all to make sure that our ingredients are well incorporated and we could taste a bit of everything. So while I was mixing, I realized I was using the wrong tool. So I had to go in for my wooden spatula to make my stirring easy and effortless. Okay, all right. <laughs> So 
so this is the part where I introduced some creaminess to the whole mixture okay so for the creams I added in some yellow mustard and a generous amount of mayonnaise I then give it a very good stir you know we keep mixing stirring mixing stirring you need a, a, a degree in mixing before you can do this recipe Charlie So after giving it a very, 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 very good stir to make sure everything is well incorporated and basically everything has also been added to it, I went ahead and tasted to know the right amount of seasoning to add to our tuna mixture. Okay, so as you can hear and see from the shadow, I am adding in some salt and then I also added in some black pepper. Now I added the black pepper in two batches. Okay, I added the first one, gave it a very good stir, and then I also added the last part of it. Also added in some mayonnaise to make it creamier the creamier the better right so after adding I'll then give it a very good stir and that is it we are done all I have to do next is assemble them on the bread and that is it and I know this might seem long and tedious to do but this is because it's in a large quantity and also it is for party guests so I don't want to mess this up and if it was um, a normal day at home making this, I would have just thrown everything in a bowl, mix it, and then that is it. Okay. So after everything is set and done, I'm going to cover it with my clinch film and then throw it into the refrigerator. So while that is refrigerating, I'm going to cut out the four edges of our bread beautifully. I'm using um, butter bread and some brown bread or wheat bread. Okay. I am not throwing these away. I am going to use them for breadcrumbs later. So this is what it looks like after cutting all the edges off. In purse, I am going to evenly spread in my butter on one side of each slice. Okay. I hope it makes sense one side of each slice yeah then on top of that will be the lettuce putting the lettuce on the slice I'm going to make sure the lettuce is large enough to cover the whole slice to prevent the moist from the tuna mixture into getting the bread okay which will also prevent the bread from getting soggy nobody wants to eat a soggy sandwich okay on top of the lettuce would be the tuna mixture okay I'll add in a generous amount and then evenly spread it then also add the other side of the sandwich okay then I'll cut it diagonally to give me the triangular shape you can cut it into any shape you want and yeah our sandwich is ready for our party and I'll try and also share the link to the guests to also share their reviews in the comment section okay all right so if you have watched till this far and you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe like 
comment and also share this video to your loved ones out there let them also know about this amazing and delicious recipes we share on this channel okay till i see you all in my next video always remember in a world where you can be anything be kind bye